Hello, everybody, and welcome to Revisiting Disney. This is the series in which uh, I pick an attraction or a part of the park based on your suggestion or perhaps my own, and I sort of play Imagineer for a day, and I talk about how I would replace it or refurbish it if I had to. And it's a fun little creative exercise. It doesn't always mean I want to see what we're replacing being replaced, uh, especially in today's episode, uh, but I think it's fun to do, and I think it's a cool way to look at the parks in a different way. Now, this one was posed to me a couple of weeks ago, I'd say over a month ago, and it took me so long to think of something to do, but uh, somebody suggested re revisiting Cinderella's Castle at the Magic Kingdom. Now, that is a tough one, and like I said, this is a special case where I really don't want to see it replaced in the future. I love the castle. I think it's perfect, but for the sake of the series, we're going to go ahead and revisit it. Now, this is a tough one because it's so core to the park, right? It's called the Magic Kingdom. The castle is just intertwined into the name and the identity of this park so to remove it is such a big deal and I think I what ultimately I came up with three ideas and one of them's like really low-hanging fruit not really an idea so much as uh, a, a route that I decided I'm not going to go down then there's one simple idea and then there's a little more complex idea and just to throw this out there I'm actually recording this video for the second time because I rambled so much the first and usually when that happens that means I'm really excited for an idea but in this case it's just really hard to put into words what I'm thinking Anyway, the low-hanging fruit that I really wouldn't go down and explore is the idea of replacing the castle with just another castle, right? That's the easy way to go. You can say, oh, take away Cinderella's castle, put, you know, Rapunzel's or Elsa's or whoever. Put another Sleeping Beauty in there. Uh, that's easy. That's not very creative. That's just swapping one for the other. So I wouldn't go down that path. The simpler idea that I had... Uh, that sort of removes a lot of functionality of the castle, which is why it wasn't the only idea that I settled with, is to replace the castle with a giant statue. I think giant statues are awesome. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's just cool, the idea of creating something that is just larger than life. Yeah, you know, for some reason, I think a lot of... Um, Gotham as Gotham City, the way it's portrayed in like the the like, incredibly awful Batman and Robin, just these giant massive statues holding up buildings and stuff like that. And uh, I think it would be fitting to put a statue of Mickey Mouse, right? He is the most iconic character in Disney lore. He is, uh, I think, arguably the most prolific uh, cartoon character in the world that we've ever seen, that we might possibly ever see. And so I think, you know, to have like a giant bronze Mickey Mouse statue would be really cool. I think it would just be an awesome thing. Now, being bronze in Orlando, you might have some lightning problems, perhaps. But like I said, I'm not thinking about functionality here. I'm thinking more along the lines of what it would look like. It would also remove a lot of functionality because, you know, the castle as it is now, it's got a restaurant in it. It has a hotel room in it. It has uh, the Bippity Bobbity Boutique in it. So, you know, there's a lot you can do in the castle that you wouldn't be able to really do in a statue. At most, what are you going to do? Like the Statue of Liberty where you go up it and you look out. That would be pretty cool to like look out at the rest of Disney World. But um, it sort of pulls a lot of that functionality away. But that's one idea I had. A giant Mickey statue would kind of be cool. And it would be generic enough that I think it wouldn't be too exclusive to any part of the park. The other idea I had, and this is a much looser idea because I don't have an idea for a specific shape of a building or size or anything like that. But for some reason, when I was thinking about what you would put in place of Cinderella's Castle, I kept thinking of the World's Fair. I kept thinking of it because I've never been to the World's Fair. I read a lot about the 1964 New York's World's Fair, you know, that was here in Queens. Walt was very involved with it. You know, it saw the birth of um, It's a Small World and Carousel of Progress and, you know, the animatronic Abe Lincoln. So there's a, there's a tie-in with history. But beyond that, I think that's where you see a lot of creative building design. And I think having something, you know, whatever goes in place of this castle has to be very unique in its design. It has to be, right? You can't just put a regular building there. Uh, you're not going to put a ride there. So it's got to be something different. And I think looking back to the World's Fair, whether it was like, uh, you know, just a symbol like the Unisphere or whether it was something like Terrace on the Park, which was sort of like this building hiked up on these four legs so that you get a great view of Flushing Meadows Park. Something like that would be really cool. And I think stylistically it would be neat to have something that's a little retro futuristic, not in the sense that it would almost be something that would fit into Tomorrowland over here, but maybe just something that acknowledges that Walt Disney was a futurist himself. He was a big fan of looking into tomorrow, 
and I think you could do something that has that vibe to it, but is also, you know, generic enough that it is just becomes a symbol for the park. And what would go in it, I think, would be very similar. I think you, a restaurant's a great idea, a viewing platform so you can look at the rest of Walt Disney World from above. Uh, but I would also really, really love to see them put in that whatever this building is, a um, a museum for Walt and Disney as a whole. And I know in Hollywood studios we have one man's dream, but I want I would want to see a museum that's so in depth and so rich in history that it would put one man's dream to shame that it that like this would be a museum like a legitimate museum and i think it'd be great because i think disney fans would love to learn more about walt and disney as a company and you know i think it would be fitting for the park you know we have to remember walt disney world is called walt disney world because roy renamed it because he wanted people to always remember the the person behind the park and the company and he didn't want people to forget and for disney to just become a brand name and so i think having you know a uh a legacy to Walt in the form of this museum that covers the company and him and his brother would be really cool and I think it would add something interesting to do in the park that isn't you know just another thrill ride uh, now as for the design of the building who knows that's I'm no architect and I'm sure whatever I design would be very very uh, unrealistic but I think that would be the one route to go down if you were to ever try to replace this castle and like I said I wouldn't want to I feel like this is perfect um, the one question I have for you guys is what would you name the park if we did this? Because again, you gotta remember, this is the Magic Kingdom. It implies a monarchy, and the monarchy usually has a castle, and so you take away the castle, maybe you really, really can't call it the Magic Kingdom, so what would you call this? Would you just call it Disney World Park? Disney Park? Waltland? I don't know, who knows? That's, that's what I'm asking you guys. You guys let me know, and also let me know if you have an idea for something else you'd like for me to revisit. Anyway, I wanna thank you all for uh, watching. Um, whatever you do this week, make the most of it because it makes it that much better. If you want to reach out to me, uh, I'm on Twitter at Rob Plays. Uh, I'd love to hear your ideas on what to name the park if we were to change it. What would you want to see if you had to replace Cinderella's Castle? It's a lot tougher than it sounds to try and come up with a replacement um, or something else you'd like for me to revisit. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time for the next episode of Revisiting Disney World.